Hello children, welcome to the chemistry world. Myself, M. Umarani, PGT Physical Science from Chandrayaan Bhutta, Bias 1. Okay. Today we are going to discuss about the seventh chapter that is classification of elements periodic table. Okay. Classification of elements periodic table. First of all, what is the classification of elements? Classification of elements means the elements which are discovered that is arranging arranging in a systematic manner based on their physical and chemical properties that is called classification of elements okay that is the classification next actually when whenever we go to a shop stationery shop all glossary items are arranging in a systematic manner means all books are arranging in one side all uh, pens are arranged in uh, one side and among the pens also that uh, red color pens are placed in one side blue color pens are uh, arranging in one side why it so because the arrangement the arrangement of glossary items the shopkeeper convenient to find out the particular item and given to a customer in this way it is required that arrangement also required for our elements also for discovering elements also okay first of all uh, long long back ago long long ago actually one scientist he is uh, in that time 30 elements are for discovered that 30 elements he uh, he classified them into metals and non metals how they how they classified them uh, that uh, element uh, that elements are classified into metals and non metals based on their physical and chemical properties which are having same physical and chemical properties that are uh, that elements are arranged in a metals and non metals few a few years back a few years later later what happened actually the confusion arose what happened some elements it is be, those are behaves like metals and non metals means both the properties they have what happened that uh, classification of that uh, metals and non metals that is that classification is failed okay next another scientist uh, scientist name is dobernier who is he dobernier Dobernier. He arranged the elements. He arranged the, he taken the atomic masses of, he calculated the atomic masses of all elements which are uh, already discovered. That is, uh, 30 elements are discovered in that period. He is in uh, 19, 1869. 1869 Dobernier. He arranged the three elements which are coming from same family, which are same family means they are having same similar properties similar physical and chemical properties he took three elements and he arranging in the increasing order of the atomic masses increasing order of the atomic masses when he uh, arranged the uh, increasing order of the atomic masses actually he observed the uh, average of first and third first and third atomic masses of first and third elements that is equal to atomic mass of second element okay actually he gave a one law that is that law is Dobernier's law of triads triads the meaning of tri means three okay triads three elements he took a three elements which are coming from same family which are comes under same family that means those are having same physical and chemical properties he arranged in a increasing order of the atomic masses when he uh, when he arranged the increasing order of the atomic masses what happened the atomic mass the average of uh, first and third elements are equal to atomic mass of second element first he took a calcium strontium barium these all are actually metals these are metals these are appearance and the chemical reactions all are same okay he took the calcium strontium barium what is the atomic mass of calcium that is 40 atomic mass mass of calcium is 40 next strontium is 
88 barium is 137 okay average between the first element and the third elements this is the first element this is the third element average what is the average that is average means 40 plus 137 that by 2 that is equal to 177 by 2 that is equal to 88.5 it is nearly equal to the atomic mass of the strontium that is which is the second element okay this is the first and third elements when he took the average between the uh, atomic masses of first and third what happened the atomic mass it, he, he can get the sec atomic mass of second element next not only metals he took the non metals also non metals like chlorine bromine iodine chlorine bromine iodine chlorine bromine iodine in this way okay here these are the what non metals he took the non metals chlorine bromine iodine what are the atomic mass of chlorine that is a what is the atomic mass of chlorine that is 35.5 bromine that is 80 iodine that is 127 okay again here took the average between the first and third that is 127 plus 35.5 by 2 we can get here 162.5 yes by 2 that is equal to 81.5 it is nearly equal to the atomic mass of bromine atomic nearly equal to atomic mass of bromine in this way he can observe the elements okay he can observe the elements and he given the he gave the one statement that statement is the law of triads what is the law of triads we will see elements arranged in increasing order of increasing order of atomic masses increasing order of the atomic masses then what the average atomic mass of the average atomic mass of first and third elements are nearly equal to average atomic mass of first and third elements is nearly equal to atomic mass of what second element that is the law gave by dobarni okay this is the law of triad okay what is the law of triad that means elements which are arranged in three elements arranged in a which are in same group same family that is arranged in increasing order of the atomic masses the average between the first and third elements is nearly equal to the atomic mass of second elements that is the dobarni law of triads okay next limitations of dobarni's law limitations limitations means drawbacks means why this law is failed that is limitations limitations first one is all elements all elements are does not that elements didn't follow the dobarni's law of triads okay all elements only nine elements are uh, follow this law only nine elements follow dobarni's law of triads okay next second one is the elements which are uh, same family 
that uh, elements suppose one is a low uh, having a lower mass and another one having a, a higher mass that elements are also didn't follow the dobernes law of triads we can take the example okay suppose fluorine chlorine bromine these are the three elements these are the non metals they are appearance their appearance and uh, uh, chemical and physical properties are all are similar okay fluorine chlorine bromine when we are fluorine means that is uh, atomic mass is 19 chlorine means 35.5 bromine means bromine atomic mass is 8 when we calculate the average between the floor, uh, atomic mass of fluorine and bromine that is equal to 19 plus 80 is divided by 2 that is equal to 99 by 2 we can get answer that is uh, 49.5 it is does not equal to the atomic mass of bromine so it is not suitable for lower mass and uh, higher mass elements like this means in this way the law is failed okay here we have a one question that is x y z are the elements of a dobernes triad the atomic mass of x is 7 and z is 43 then what is the atomic mass of y okay what is the question x y z are the elements which are comes under the dobernes triad dobernes triad means we can write those elements in this way means increasing order of the atomic masses x what is the atomic mass of x that is 7 what is the atomic mass of z that is 43 here what is the atomic mass of y the question is asking like that okay here what we already we know the elements which are uh, belongs to the dobernes triad means we can take the average between the first element and the third element average we can took the average we can take the average okay that is average means that is a 7 that is the first element here x is the third element is a z that's why average means 7 plus 43 by 2 that means here we can get 50 by 2 that is equal to 25 atomic mass unit it is the units for the atomic mass this is the 25 is the answer this is nearly equal to that is the atomic mass of that 25 is equal to atomic mass of y in this way we can calculate the atomic mass of y okay na? in this way questions will ask in exams directly they can't ask the what they didn't ask the direct direct questions only in this way the questions will ask okay thank you